everybody and welcome to another exciting Copperland video adventure. So today we're working with and playing around with our gold turbine and we're testing out the gold turbine sluice section and we're just starting to test it to see how to set it up and how to get it to work right. And right now we have sluice on about a it looks like a 10 or 15 degree slope so we'll show you what that looks like at that kind of a slope running a it's just a typical uh, water pump to supply the water 110 volt water pump a shallow well and today I'm wearing my gold turban sweatshirt showing this is a gold turban adventure okay so I'll plug that in and we'll show you what the sluice looks like at this angle Now, if you notice, on this sluice, we're running our ripples backward, just like on a dry washer. It's running backward, not forward, because we're using very low velocity water. This is not using high velocity water going across forward shape uh, ripples, because we don't need the turbulence after the ripple, just to drop the gold out of the ore. We have a different system here. So we're running our, running our water a whole lot slower, and whenever you run your water or air slowly, like a dry washer is running air very slowly, the, the, the dry material advances very slowly. So you have to have the ripples running backward. Same principle here. You're running very slow moving water. So you're not going to get separation on the back side of the ripple. So these ripples have to be slanted backward just like in a dry washer. Now we can see that. All of our sections are now filled up with water. This section is not as active as the bottom section, so we're probably a little steep on our angle. I don't want to bring our angle up to about here. And let all that material slowly process through. So I'll change the angle on that. And we'll get right back with you after we make that modification. Okay, we're back. We modified the slope on this, this sluice. We've got a system of bolt holes, a couple of small boat, bolts, and we have a slot in the rail so we can raise and lower that. We brought it back up to about four or five degrees. So we'll plug it back in and see how it runs. Bottom tray is filling up right now, then next run. That's when the yucky trays are filling a whole lot faster. He thinks it's a condor coming to get him. He thinks that noise is the condor. Yep. So now you can see that the first tray is filled up and it's a lot more active. There's no, there's no problem with our water flow coming off the end. It's the same water flow coming off of here. It's just that it's lingering more in the upper trays. 
going to separate my turn. So what it's doing is separating the weights from the headies by water coming out through the bottom, separating your weights and watching all your weights start out towards the end. find a little bit of material and throw some material in there so that's working. Be right back. Okay, I get a cup full of combination of black and yellow sand. I'll throw that in the top part of the sluice and see how that runs through. Looks like we're getting light material mi migrating down into the two lower sections. from the blacks. Sure do. And some black in here. But and most of the much. most of the black is still up there, the heavy. Yep. Well we made our modifications and we're back again with another experiment on a revolutionary new gold sluice. So we'll fire this up and Show you how this modification works.
and you can see from the patterns that it's mostly black sand staying up in this section. Got a little bit of black sand in here, but mostly yellow. Mostly yellow sand here and yellow sand there, so it's working. It's another way of separating heavies from lights and pushing them down the sluice. So we've got a lot of more a lot more modifications to make on this basic design. We're going to change the patterns of the underflow of underneath this. This is like a it's a table. And we have water flowing under this table. So we'll modify that and fine-tune it to where it works perfectly. So until next time, this is Copperland taking you to new heights, new, uh, new places, new ways of doing old things like old prospecting. And remember, all the gold turbine products, all of the Copperland videos, transform you from a 90 pound gold prospecting wood thing into a beast of a miner.